news channel with me. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Today we are looking at a very intriguing pen. Um, I have never done a review of the other one, <laughs> but now we're going to do a review of this new one. Um, and the pen is the Lamy Dialogue CC fountain pen. This is the dark blue. And I'm very excited for this because, well, I'll tell you as we go in the video. But let's do this. First up, thank you so much to Applebone for loaning me this pen. If you're interested in a pen or anything else, you can shop at Applebone using the discount code FRIEND for 10% off. Excludes Mont Blanc because that's what Mont Blanc's rules are. Um, no commission. That's not an affiliate link. It's just 10% off for you to enjoy. So the pen, let's, well, wait, the box. Let's look at the box. The box is pretty big. Um, I don't really, I don't like big boxes, but whatever. If we open it up, the pen was sitting right here. And it does come with this little leather sleeve, which I think is intriguing. I, I, I don't know. I'll talk about the sleeve in a second. And underneath, so it doesn't come with a bottle ink, which I think would have been really cool. Um, I'm trying to open this without smacking my camera. Underneath is always paperwork. So there's paperwork. There is the little thing for unscrewing the thingy. <laughs> there's Lamy cartridges and the Lamy Studio explanation booklet i i do like the style of this because it's very it's very sleek and very cool so that little unit goes right here and it lets you unscrew the front barrel section so you can clean it out properly and then you can dry off the inside and all that so that's just for maintenance it annoys me that i need an extra part to clean the pen but if you like the pen that will probably be worth it for you i actually do like the pen but it still annoys me that i need an extra part to clean it but whatever okay let's put the box out of the way because that's not remotely exciting is it we have the pen i am going to zoom in so we got some better look at this pen and We can look at the, we can actually like look at the pen now. Um, I, <laughs> it's really good looking. I have to say, I think the matte dark blue finish and it's, it's like slightly metallic, but it, I think it looks really good with the rose gold trim. I think they have done a better job with a premium looking pen than they did with all of the Lamy 2000 colors, black, amber, um, blue Bauhaus and the brown. I think this is way more interesting. So I really like the look of it. At the top, well, at the nib part, you have the nib covering so you can't see it. And at the back is this like, rose shiny rose gold dome i really like how it looks it's not a huge pen so it's under six inches and the where where the clip would be is this adorable little plaque so i think it looks really good like it's a really good looking pen and i mean just look at that it looks pretty pretty cool it's modern but very attractive very elegant so the colorway is killer and i know they have uh no this is the one i have the old dialogue and this is <laughs> when you put them side by side i find it amazing first of all it is also a dialogue it's just the cc but this new one is stellar and in terms of like the design of it and how it feels in hand and everything way better than the old one so i mean i'm really pleased about the whole idea of the pen um i don't care for the sleeve i it's really snug it's black why would you give me a black sleeve with a dark blue pen 
anyway. <laughs> but it is very useful in terms of like having something to put your pen in. The tip of the pen goes right in and then to squish it out you gotta like like finagle with the back. I can't, I don't. Or you can just squish your fingers into the side here. Anyway, it comes with the pen. It's a nice accessory. I probably would have preferred a bottle of ink, but that's okay. So the pen is fascinating. Let's unscrew it. So if we unscrew the barrel, which is very neat. Okay, so it has the Z24 converter and it's screwed in. So I, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so you unscrew this to ink the pen. And that little piece I showed you unscrews this part. So, I mean, it is, I, I appreciate that they include the tool for complete maintenance. That is, that's solid. Um, I find that the feel of this pen, like the innards and all that stuff is way better than the dialogue, the original dialogue three. Um, first, like it just, this has, I don't know, it just bounces and it, it unscrews in a way that pops it off. And when you come to closing it, it's just so easy to turn it, which is good. But like this one has a more satisfying uh, tension to it. So anyway, the feel, fantastic. I think it's really nice. I love how it looks. I did not think I would like it. And I'm suitably shamed by the pen for judging it before I had it in hand. Now, in terms of size, uh, as I said, it's, it's on the smaller side. I don't think that's a bad thing because the Dialogue 3 was gigantic and basically a baseball bat. So if we just look at it in terms of some other common pens, we've got the Twisby Eco, a Caveco Sport, Platinum Preppy, a Jinhao 750, or actually it's a Bulo, whatever. Uh, Twisby 580, Mommy Safari, the Dialogue 3, here's the Dialogue CC, a Pilot Metropolitan, a Platinum Curidas, which is another, um, you know, retractable pen. Um, the Estabrook ST in the regular size and the small size. So even the ST, the small size, the slim, is still longer than the pen is. Fascinating. I, I think it's a fascinating pen and I'm not even someone who really is crazy about Lamy's. Like, I really like my safaris because of the colors. But other than that, I'm not usually, like, gaga for a Lamy. But this one, this one has my attention. So, I think we best do some writing. So, to um, uh, get your nib, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, you just turn the barrel. And you can't... Okay, so one of my problems with the old dialogue is when you retract the nib, you can unscrew the barrel because the stopping mechanism just wasn't really solid. This one is solid. Like, you feel the stop and you know the nib is retracted. So we have extracted our nib by turning it. I think it looks really good. It looks really good in hand. It is comfortable. Um, it's pretty, it's a pretty solid pen pretty good balance. I'm, I'm happy with it. And the nib is a gold broad. I'm, I just have nothing to complain about so far. It's all beautiful. So we should do some writing. I did not ink it with a Lamy ink because I don't have any left. It's very shameful. Now, I also like Lamy Gold Nibs. So in that regard, I'm a little biased again because I've already liked them. This one is no exception. It is an absolutely beautiful gold nib and it's smooth, nice and juicy. It's a true broad. It's not a medium broad or a triple broad broad. I think this is a solid, decent broad. 
well-tuned, well-adjusted. I don't find it over-polished. So like I've used this on different papers and no issues. Like it's, it's a solid performer. So let me show you. Pretty juicy. Uh, I like juicy nibs. I like juicy broad gold nibs. Like this is the, this is the kind of writing experience with a broad nib that I love. This is exactly what I want. It's juicy. It is a perfectly tuned broad, not over polished, nice and smooth and enjoyable to write with. Sorry, I'll move over a bit more so you can see. So if we just do some I have found that it works really well for my handwriting style and the way I hold my pens. It's just, it's superb. And the pen is, hang on, before I finish my sentence, um, <clears throat> 368 Canadian. I mean, it's a premium pen. I don't think that's an obscene price considering they were selling the uh, 2000 special editions for like 500, 600 Canadian. I think this is totally worth it. I, honestly, I'm, I'm very impressed by the pen and I really like it. So we have done that. Um, it's so comfortable to hold. Like I've found that nothing but like, this is just, it's girthier than I'm used to for a pen, but it's so easy to hold and the weight and balance, just superb. So I'm really happy with it and I really like it. I really like it. Okay, let's go do some fun, intimate writing with it so we can see it from the side and we'll be right back. you enjoy that. I think this pen is underrated. I mean, I know it's pretty new. Um, I am really glad I had the chance to try it because I would never have been interested in it otherwise. I just thought it was pretty because I love the color. But other than that, I was like, mm, I don't really like Lamy's that much. I really like this one. And I would seriously consider this if you're looking for a retractable mechanism, a premium pen that is just a little bit different and if you just like how it looks it's amazing so thank you all so much for watching I would love to hear what you think about this pen and please leave your thoughts in the comments and thank you so much to Applebaum for loaning me the pen don't forget to use the code friend to get yourself one of these or something else I'm Aziza, Gourmet Pens all over the socials, and you can find me online and on um, 
Patreon if you wish to lend your support. Wow, I, that was an awful S. Yeah, lend your support so I can learn how to write an S better. Okay, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you for the next video.